Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. Welcome back to another crafty vlogmas video. So for today's video, I thought it would be really fun to share some last minute gift idea sewing projects. And I wanted to do some that would be really quick and easy to make. So what I'm going to do today is work on a few projects and set my timer while I work on them and see how fast I can get them done. That way, if you're looking for something that you can make very last minute, there will be a few ideas here in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go jump into these projects. Let's start out by making this adorable tea towel. I think this is such a great addition to any sort of food related gift and it's really easy to make as well. So I'm using this beautiful cotton and linen canvas fabric. You want to choose something that has cotton in it and is a little bit thicker to be more absorbent. And I'm starting out by cutting out a rectangle of fabric. Now I'm cutting out a rectangle that is 18 by 36 inches, but when I looked up the standard measurements for a tea towel, Google told me that it would be 28 by 28 inches. I'm just working with the fabric that I have here and cutting something out that looks like a reasonable tea towel size. So once I have my rectangle of fabric cut out, I'm going to go ahead and do a double hem on all of the edges. So I'm going to start by folding up the long edges a quarter of an inch and then the short edges, and then I'll fold all of the edges over again to create a nice clean edge. I'm quickly checking to make sure that the corners look good and then I'm going to add a little detail that I think just makes this a little bit extra special. I have this cute twill ribbon and I'm just going to cut a little piece that I can add to the corner here to make a hanger for the tea towel. So I'm going to place the ribbon underneath the hem here so that it will be caught in the stitching when I sew the hems. So now I'm ready to sew all of this down. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and stitch each edge down. I like to do one at a time and backstitch at the end of each of these hems. And I'm doing an eighth of an inch seam allowance here just to create a really nice narrow hem. And I'm going to sew around all of the sides. And with the hems sewn, this project was done and we came in right at around 13 minutes and that includes all of my camera setup. So it definitely would be shorter if you were not filming. And I just think these little tea towels would make such a nice gift and are so adorable and easy to make. Next, let's make this beautiful velvet scrunchie. I absolutely love it, this red velvet fabric and this type of accessory makes a really good stocking stuffer or small gift and it's easy to make a lot of them as well. So I'm going to start by cutting a rectangle out from my velvet fabric that is 18 by four inches. I decided that I wanted this scrunchie to be nice and chunky, so I'm cutting a little bit of a wider strip of fabric than I normally would. So to make the scrunchie, I'm going to start by folding in one of the short ends of the scrunchie, and then I'll fold the rectangle of fabric together with the right sides together, keeping that fold on the end and pinning all the way across the side. Then I'll take this over to the sewing machine and sew it down with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Next, I'm going to use a safety pin to turn this tube of fabric right side out. And now I'm ready to add the elastic to the scrunchie. I like to use one quarter inch wide elastic for this, and I'm going to cut a piece of elastic that is nine and a half inches long. Then I'll use a safety pin to thread this through the tube of fabric. Thank you. 
I'm going to knot the ends of the elastic securely together and then I will tuck the unfolded short edge of the scrunchie into the folded edge so that the raw edges are all concealed and it joins into one loop of fabric. So now all I need to do is to sew together the ends of the scrunchie. You could do this using the sewing machine, but I'm going to do it with hand stitching just so that you don't see the stitches and I can sew in between the layers here and then make sure to knot your thread really securely at the end and the scrunchie is done. So once again, this project came in right around 13 minutes, and this is the type of thing that is really easy to assembly line. So if you want to make a lot of them, this is a really good option. And I absolutely love the velvet fabric for the holiday season. Next, let's make this super fluffy faux fur hot water bottle cover. I actually saw one of these in a store-bought gift guide and I thought it would be a really easy project to make. So I decided to try my hand at it. So I have a hot water bottle here. You can get these really inexpensively. And I am just cutting a piece of fabric out that is about one inch wider than the hot water bottle all the way around the edges. That creates one side of the cover and for the other side we want to cut two pieces out so that this can overlap and create a gap in the middle to put the hot water bottle into the cover. So I'm going to start by cutting out a piece that's a little bit longer than half of the original piece and then I'm going to again add a couple of inches to the top half as well so that there's room for this to be folded over and still overlap. So now with all my pieces cut out, I can start to assemble this cover. So I'm going to start with the top half piece and I'm going to fold under the lower edge about an inch here. You could sew this down, but I just felt like it wasn't necessary with this faux fur fabric. So I just went ahead and folded this up and went ahead and pinned this on. And then I'm going to take the lower piece and overlay this so that it overlaps the upper piece. And I'm again going to fold this under an inch here, making sure that everything is nicely layered. This was a little bit tricky to work with because the fabric is so thick. So if you are using a faux fur, just be really careful or you might break a needle on your sewing machine. So once I got all of that pinned together, I just took this over to the sewing machine and sewed all the way around the perimeter using a one half inch seam allowance. Because this fabric is so bulky, I went ahead and trimmed away any of the excess seam allowance and then I could turn this towards the right side. Then all I had to do was add the hot water bottle and this project was done. Now some of the faux fur does sometimes get a little bit stuck in the seams so you can just pull that out with your fingers or a comb and it should get that nice fluffy look. And once again, are you noticing a trend? This one came in right around 13 minutes. It was such a quick and easy project and I feel like it is just a fun, cozy gift for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. 
Next, let's make this velvet bow hair barrette. I've been seeing a lot of this style of hair accessory in the stores lately, so I thought I would try to make my own. So for this project, I'm starting with some velvet ribbon, and I'm going to start by creating a set of loops. So I'm making a two loops on one side of the bow and two loops on the other side, and just pinning this down. And once I was happy with how this looked, I took my hand sewing needle and just made a series of stitches to secure this together. This does not have to look nice or be fancy or anything. It just needs to secure it together. Next, I took a longer piece of ribbon and then knotted this around the middle of the bow. And this gives it that nice bow look and also helps it be a little bit more secure. I trimmed the ends of the velvet ribbon to have this nice V shape. I just think this looks really cute with this style. And then I just added a few stitches to the back to make sure that that second piece of ribbon was secured to the first one. Now, if I had stopped here, this project would have taken 10 minutes. I could have just added the barrette and been done, but I had recently seen a hair bow that had some crystal embellishment, and so I decided to add that to mine as well. So I'm taking some rhinestones and some pearl beads and attaching these to the bow with some gel glue. And I just think this adds that extra special touch. This definitely took a while, so it was a little bit labor intensive, but I think the result was so pretty. And then the last step to finish up this hair accessory was just to add a barrette to the back of the bow once the glue had dried. So to do this, I am just going to place the barrette on the back and then secure this using some hand sewing stitches.
with that, this project was done. Now this did take 41 minutes and that's mostly because of the crystals. That took a good half of an hour and it would be so pretty with just the plain velvet ribbon if you wanted a little bit of a faster project, but I absolutely love how this one turned out. Next, let's make this adorable tassel pillow. I made this in a holiday fabric because I wanted to use it for my holiday decor, but you could definitely do this in a non-seasonal fabric for a gift. And I am starting by cutting out two squares of my fabric that are 18 by 18 inches. I absolutely love this nutcracker fabric. If you watched my stocking video, you saw this in that video. I just think it's so cute. Then I found this little bit of tassel trim in my sewing stash, so I decided to remove a few of the tassels and use these to add a cute little embellishment to this pillow. I thought the gold color looked really pretty with the gold in the fabric. So I'm cutting four of these away from the trim to add to the corners of my pillow. Now these tassels would have been a little bit easier to work with if they had had a longer string, but they still worked even with this short amount here. So I'm starting by placing the tassels at each corner of the pillow with the top of the tassel facing towards the seam. Then I'm going to pin the tassels in place and then pin the pillow sides together all the way around. I've made sure that the right sides are together and also that the fabric is going in the same direction because this is a directional print. And then I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew everything together using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to leave about a four inch gap at the bottom of the pillow so that I can turn this towards the right side and add the stuffing. I think the tassels just look adorable. It's such a fun detail. So now I'm going to add some polyfill to the pillow and make sure that it's looking nice and fluffy. Then I'm just going to pin together this lower gap, making sure that the raw edges are towards the inside. So this matches up directly with the seam that we sewed earlier. And then I can just sew this together using some hand stitches going back and forth between the layers so that the stitches don't show on the outside. And with that, that's all there is to this project. And this one took right around 20 minutes, again, with filming time included. So it would be a little shorter without that. And I just think the tassels make this a little bit unique and so adorable. And I'm so excited to have this in my holiday decor. So I hope this video gave you a few ideas for some last minute sewing projects you can make for holiday gifts this year. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. If you are new around here and haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and subscribe by clicking the red button down below to stay tuned for any of my future videos. But thank you once again for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.